Hi, my name is Kirby Downey. Welcome to another awesome tutorial where I'll be showing you how to use SolidWorks and 3D printing to create something awesome like this. It's kind of like a little model of the Hollywood Hills uh, with a couple of architectural trees. Uh, very, very, very simple model to make, but a, a good illustration of how you can use SolidWorks um, to create models for architectural purposes or landscaping purposes. Let's get into how I made this awesome model. To create the Hollywood sign, I imported a picture of the Hollywood letters. I then traced them in a sketch and then extruded them out and then edited them to how they needed to be for the sign. For the mountain, I created a body which I could then subtract from to create a, a hollow shape on the inside. The reason why I did this is this speeds up the printing time. The most time done on a printer is the first few layers laying down a flat surface. So if that surface area is large, the machine will take a lot longer to do it. So a smaller surface area helps prevent warping and speeds up the print time quite a lot. Parts have been printed. I've spray painted the the mountain in a sand color. It's called. It's a simple spray paint. Here's a little tip about actually spray painting outside and in the sun with plastic with PLA. Try and avoid being in direct sunlight. Luckily in the UK the sun isn't as intense, but when the sun is extremely intense, it can actually melt and deform your model. I mean, put this in boiling water and you can deform it already. So try and keep it out of direct sunlight while spray painting it. So what I'm going to be doing now, and I'm going to bring the camera around here so you can see better, so I'm going to be using these little trees. What I'll be doing is placing these little trees in the mountain. I'll be drilling little holes where I want the trees. I'll insert the trees with a bit of super glue, and then paint it and then put the Hollywood sign in. Um, so let's get to it. The process that I use to put these trees in is called treeing. Very, very simple. Um, this is easier done with a drill where you just drill random holes, um, put a bit of glue on the end of the tree and drop it in that hole and it'll stay in place. You could extrude cut the holes in the model. The problem is it's not going to look as good as opposed to just randomly drilling because that makes it look more organic. To finish off this process, I just took a piece of acrylic, 
masked out the area of the mountain, spray painted that and glued that on there to make a really nice little base. <laughs> so guys, this was a really quick, simple model to make and very effective in the end. And they're so quick and easy to make, I even made the SolidWorks Hollywood Heels. Um, these are both in preparation for SolidWorks World 2017 that will be in February in Los Angeles. This is kind of like themed of that. And I'm very, very happy with the way that they turned out. It's a very simple tutorial on how a bit of 3D printing, a bit of SolidWorks, you can make something really quick to represent an architectural model or a topographical geographic area. Very, very simple. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot from it and I hope you can use this information to make some really awesome things. Please, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. We'll see you guys in the next one.